Dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it. What happens to electrons when they lose their energy? They get bored. <laughs> get it? Who? That one gets me all the time. <laughs> this is me and Helica, as you might know already. This, I'm drawing myself. And this is my partner, named Alexis. And this is my other partner, named Emily. We're going to be talking about Newton's three laws. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Isaac Newton. Okay. Newton's first law explains that an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. An object in motion continues in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This is Billy. He's kicking a ball, and the ball is at rest. So Billy is now going to kick the ball, and that is going to be the applied force, which will make the ball move. I'm going to erase this line because I don't need that. This is a, the soccer ball where Billy is makes his soccer ball go into, yay Billy! And the net stops the ball, which is the unbalanced force. Whoop, whoop. You know what they say, an object in motion stays in motion, an object at rest stays in bed. Huh, unless their mom tells them to get up. Get up! <laughs> and Helica, you are so funny and funny. So funny. Second law declares that acceleration is produced when a force acts on a mass. The greater the mass, the greater amount of force is needed. Here is Geraldo. This is Geraldo's car. But unfortunately, Geraldo's sad because his car broke down. He needs to push it all the way to the gas station. The equation for force is the mass of Geraldo's car and the acceleration he is pushing it at, which is F equals ma or force equals mass times acceleration we're just going to plug these into the equation and we're going to take 1000 kilograms and multiply it by 0.5 meters per second per second so Geraldo's force ends up being 500 newtons you go Geraldo you can make it to the gas station. I know you can make it, make it, go, go, go. Or as I like to say, uh, toot and scoot, Geraldo. Ugh, good one. <laughs> Newton's third law. You know what they say. Newton's third law is the one with the hairy chest. <clears throat> um, okay, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This means that for every force, there is a reaction force that is equal in size in opposite direction. So if an object is pushed by another object, it gets pushed back in the opposite direction equally hard. Of course, if one object is heavier, it won't go as fast. So uh, this is John. He has a big muscly muscle, muscles, muscles. And so... Uh, He's heavier. This is Stacy. She's lighter, so she's gonna take a little joy ride. <laughs> sad, sad, sad Stacy. Yeah, basically Newton has a lot Newton's laws have lots of rules. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. But Newton was a, a great guy and uh, if he weren't here, uh, we, if he didn't discover that, that apple falling, I mean, where would we be in the world right now? Probably nowhere. Just kidding. I don't know. 
What do you call a dumb fish? Guys, huh? What? What do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? Stuquid. <laughs> I made that joke up myself, and I, I, just, I just can't handle it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Do do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. This is where it's at. This is why. This is why. Bye. This girl is on fire. Haha. <laughs> just. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs>